Welcome back, Cheap Eats Garage. Today we're going to do a cold start. Will it run on the old 1977 Ford F-150? She's a Ranger XLT variety. And she's also a Super Cab. So that's pretty neat. You got a couple whammies here and there. Got some rust around the rear wheel. Got a bunch of garbage in the back of it. Kind of in the weeds here, so it's hard to see real good. Got more rust, more rust. Got a tree. It's in the way. Actually, she's not too bad in the cab wise. Even the old interior is not terrible bad. Headliner's hanging down, but that's easy enough to fix. She does have a 460 in it. It does, well, it should run. The transmission is stuck in gear. No matter where you have it in park or reverse, drive, it's always going forward. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, if it starts up, it ain't going to be real easy to rev it up because it's going to be just going against the park spur. So, I threw a battery in it. It's been about... Well, it's coming November. I think it'll be two years since it's ran. I have no idea if there's any gas in the tank. If it'll suck anything up. Might just have to run it off what I put in the carburetor, but we'll see what happens. If you guys in there, you can kind of see it somewhat decently Take the old air cleaner off here got about a six mile long stud on top of it here Yeah, she's got an Edelbrock four barrel on her. Throttle linkage moves. So that's handy. Well, let's grab a little fuel and put it in there to see if she fires up. Four sixties like plenty of gas, so that'd be fine. All right, go ahead and crank on it and see if she fires up. Boy, she don't see why she wants to do anything. <laughs> I see this fuel filter is full of fuel right off the bat. Hmm, that's weird. Where's she got a spark? If you just wanted to be hell. Hold the gas pedal to the floor. That way it can air out if it's flooded. Yep, you got too many sparks. I just 
Turn it over. What? Keep the throttle down. Just turn it over. I want to see if it's got spark. Turn it. Keep turning. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. I don't think she got no sparkage. Stupid ignition box little crap. Doesn't surprise me any. Sometimes you bang on them, it wakes them up. Crank it. Turn it over. Keep it down. Try starting it. Apparently the brain box was uh, the problem. All right, crank it over. Juice and it takes a lot to crack a 460. Start it. Put some in here. And gas and tank or whatever. Well, at least she runs anyway. Had to give the old brain box a little bit of an attitude adjustment and make her work, but otherwise, yeah, she's a runner. Start it up. Again. Again. Keep going. I don't think my old battery's gonna hold up there. Well, I'll grab the jumper cables.
All right, I got the old drummer cables hooked up to her. I can move you guys over on this side here, see if we can see anything. That, and you're hearing all the noise from the old S10 running. Well, see if she'll crank now. thing is in gear too so probably hard to get it to rev up much Had fresh gas to her and didn't have things stuck in gear, probably wouldn't be a bad runner. All right, we'll fiddle over one more time here and pour gas all over the engine so that way when it backfires, it just burns it down. gas is in here is going to go into it or not, but 
Alright, stir it up. Of water in it, so I'm not going to get her too warmed up. But as you can see, she does run. That transmission in it that worked like it's supposed to that would probably be a driver. So I guess we'll call it a success on a cold start on the old 77 F 150. So, you guys like content like this, the wheel runs, cold starts, just playing with dare like the old junk in general, might consider subscribing to the channel. So, until the next one, thanks for watching. Bye.